We are in Copenhagen uh, at another LEAF event that uh, today I'm going to look at uh, vehicle to grid. So uh, here we have uh, Stefan Hoy. Stefan, yeah, Nissan. And uh, you're going to show me. The, the, sorry, a little bit noisy, they are making coffee in the background here, but that's the whole point <laughs> of this uh, clip. So you have this, this Nissan LEAF, the new Nissan LEAF here. You see that it's uh, it's plugged in the charger mode, but it's not charging. It's discharging. This is it's blinking there, so it's um, it's doing something. That normally means it's uh, it's charging, but in fact it both it can both mean charging or discharging. So right now it's blinking because it's discharging through the charger mode. Right now, you can see where it's going. It's going here to this leave to home. Uh, leave to home unit. Yes. Is this an inverter? This is a vehicle to X uh, unit, and it has an inverter. Yes. Okay. So how powerful is the inverter? It's uh, it's six up to six kilowatts. It can supply uh, nominal. Oh, so you have two units here. Yeah. Well, in fact, all, all the all the thing is here. This is only a unit for various supply. You see, on the back we have all CE plugs. You have UK plugs. Okay. Regular Shuko plugs, so that we can connect everything. In fact, in Japan, when they're normally installed in, at a house or something, it's only this unit. Yeah. But uh, so here, just to show you, so, uh, the oh. coffee shop here, <laughs> this one, the coffee uh, booth here, is running on uh, power from the leaf. <laughs> you can see how much it's supplying right now. It's 2.9 kilowatts, 3 kilowatts now. Oh. Now it went down to 0.4 kilowatts because the boiler of the coffee machine turned off. Oh. But this is giving the, all the power to go to the coffee machine running here next to it. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and obviously it can supply this coffee shop for quite a while. So maximum output is uh, six, six, 6 kilowatts, kilowatts. nominally. Yeah. It can take a bit more in peak, 8 kilowatts, but 6 uh, kilowatts in... Uh, and uh, if you would you know, send, send the power back to the car again, mm -hmm. how would that work then? Well, with, as it's set up here, yeah. it, it's not uh, supposed to charge. Okay. But the unit can charge also with 6 kilowatts. Ah and does it in Japan when it's normally connected to the grid. When we get to Flagstaff Assuming later in the afternoon, you will see another vehicle to grid bi-directional charger, uh, which is connected directly to the grid. So that can do both up to 10 kilowatts. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let me see, can I, what is this? I'm not gonna feel too much about it. Oh, oh okay, so it says that the car is giving power uh, It has a lot of various functions that we are not using with this setup because the vehicle to home, uh, the leaf to home unit is set up now as you know, you can just move it around. Oh. So, I mean, this, this is just a, a portable vehicle to X uh, unit as it is right now. Oh. So, uh, it has very other functions. If you want to charge the car with it, obviously, you need quite a heavy supply on the other side, up to six kilowatts, if you want to use it. So, you need to connect it to the grid for that. It's perfectly possible. Yeah, thank you very much for the... <laughs> You're welcome. Hi. So it's running there. Okay, but that was pretty cool. But you know, what I want to see is um, the ENV 200. Yeah, we'll see that later today.